we sit in the same class. We taught by the same teachers. Some people fail, some people excel. We attend to the same discussion groups. Some of us cannot remember the things in the exam. We started playing football as a team, but only one of us is on the national team. Repetition, repetition, repetition. The more you keep doing something, the more it becomes part and parcel of you. Imagine giving you a test to brush your teeth, something you do every day. That is how repetition works. How much do we try? Repetition comes with perseverance, endurance, because things always start on the negative. But once you have the target, you will keep going. You will keep going no matter what comes your way. You will keep going no matter what they say about you. I want to be the best goalkeeper in the world. Then you will not stop. Or you won't get tired of catching the ball. I've read stories of two Europe's best goalkeepers who started by hitting the ball on the wall and diving for it. But the power of repetition has now put them to where they wanted to be. You cannot come from nowhere and handle the ball better than someone who has dedicated his whole life to that unless you've been doing the same. You cannot come from nowhere and be the student who has been reading things from the day the term started unless you've been doing the same. In high school, we had a student. We always considered the brightest because he always understood things off the blackboard and answered almost all questions we failed to answer in class. To a point that even when a teacher was going to cane as for failing something, he was spared because of his brilliance. But he was not easily approachable. So there was this boy, not bright, but smart. He befriended the bright boy and dis discussed for him everything. What this boy did was, every after acquiring knowledge, he could stand up in class and say, Hey people, those who didn't understand trigonometry, come in the evening in groups of five. And I'll discuss for you. Well, our class had almost 100 people. Making it 20 times for him to interact with the things he discussed for us. In the end, this boy was the best. Not because he was the brightest, but because of the power of repetition. Things were not new to him. Repetition can make you beat the talented guy. We know Macy and Ron. Looking at them play, you can ably say, they don't need training because they are the best. But what surprises is no one trains as hard as they do because they understand the power of repetition. Guess all of us at one time have tried to juggle the ball. No one ever started with a perfect juggle. But right now, some of you can perfectly juggle and others can't. What is between those two categories of people is repetition. I personally started by juggling the ball using one foot. But now, I use both. And I can ably tell you, it is hard to learn, but much easier when learned. When you want to give your life an opportunity, then you will embrace repetition. Let me ask you one thing. Would you want to give your one penalty to some random guy who has never taken penalties? When there is a player 
always practicing for them? Of course, no. Now, that is the reason as to why jobs always have interviews and someone's experience will always matter. It is simply because you cannot beat someone who does it every day. And the opportunities in life are for who is better. If you open a door for repetition, you will qualify for the competition. Thank you.